are here in Jaipur at the Amber Fort. We've just come up uh, our own little way through taxis and stuff and we've just entered it. Um, before you get in there, there's quite a lot of sellers. Our guide has described them as sticky sellers. So they'll offer you like, they'll say 10, 20. Um, and then that won't mean rupees or dollars, you don't know that. And then they'll stick with you until you buy something. So just be careful when you're coming in. We've walked in already and there is hordes of elephants, hordes of people riding elephants. So obviously I'm a big advocate for animal welfare. Do not ride the elephants. Um, it's busy, but you know, we're gonna go have a look around and see how it goes. In this town, there is a temple called Ambikeshwar Mahadev's temple. Lord Shiva's another name is Ambikeshwar. This name derived from Ambikeshwar. It's a very small, surrounded by hills. On the hilltop, security wall is there. Security wall starts from the fort. Above this, there is a fort. And ending point is also there. So we are um, in Amber Fort now and we're in the first square and it's a mix between um, Hindu and Muslim architecture. Um, they did have a name for it, what was it? In into something. It was a mix between Muslim and um, Hindu architecture and we've obviously just through the entrance you get given these uh, flower leaves. And real flowers. Real flowers. They smell really nice as well. Um, but we've got a few minutes to explore the area so over on one side you can see the floor, to the other side you can see all the elephants and then just behind us there's a lake you can see um, it's saffron. It's saffron there's, garden. Yeah, there's a tried, to, tried to grow saffron there but unfortunately you didn't realise Saffron grows better in cold temperatures, not like yeah. hot temperatures only. But it's just kept the name. Say it's made of real gold paint. That's why it's so shiny. Mm -hmm.
So we've just finished visiting the fort. Our battery camera is also running out. And it's definitely worth a visit if you're in Jaipur. I'd say get a guide because there's only sort of a few random places that have signs on. Um, there's not much information around, so it's good to hear about you know the history of it. Um, the, like seeing the Queen's Palace and hearing the story about um, you know the King lived above and she lived behind, and then obviously the women were only allowed to look through um, the, the little grates before when all the activities were happening in the main square. Um, it's nice. It's, basically a maze, um, so many different places to see, but add it to your list when you come to the 